I titled this video Slave because it's the truth. There is not one person in this country who is not a slave. You might not be whipped across the back to go buy anything. You might not be whipped across the back to go to work for somebody. But you are a slave. And let me explain to, to you what I mean by slave. Everything we need on this planet we have to pay for. Now, if there is a God and God has provided for every one of us, then why are we paying these demons for everything that we need? In every country on this planet, the individuals who are, quote unquote, the batteries, the backbone of this matrix, are enslaved. Now, if water is the most abundant thing on this planet, why do we got to pay for water? Because the water is deemed unsafe for us to drink. The only water that we can drink is the water that they have tainted they have manipulated and we have to pay for it food if I wanted to have 10 chickens in my backyard there's gonna be some vet come by here to make sure that I cannot have those chickens in my yard this is not zoned for a farm shit like that any reason is there any reason at all that human beings on this planet should have to pay to live on the planet? Think about it. I want you to think real hard about this shit. God has provided everything for us. Why do we have to pay for it? Because we're slaves. Slaves slaves to the banks or whatever, slaves to our governments. We are slaves. I'm not just talking about black people. I'm talking about every single person who has to go pay for something. Everybody who has to shell out money for something is a slave. That means Puff Daddy is a slave. That means Robin Williams is a slave. Those people who are in this country who suffer are slaves. I am a slave. You are a slave. We say, well, you got to have money so things will work. No, you don't have to have money. The powers that be have to have money. They have to have money to keep us enslaved. See what I'm saying? If you go down to the lake and you go fishing, you have to buy a fishing license. Why? Why should you have to pay to fish, to eat? What about utilities and electricity and all this and that? Everything that we, we take for granted. It has enslaved us. No more snacks for the dog. Doggy snacks cost money. No more snacks. No more snacks, doggy. Go eat your dog food in a bowl. Stop trying to do doggy tricks for doggy treats. Because when we go to doggy school, you don't listen. Fucking dog. I love him to death, but he's an asshole. We are slaves. You can't see it? You are a slave. Well, you gotta have that Starbucks. You gotta have that video game system. We gotta have cable and the internet and, and shoes and shirts and pants and clothes. We gotta have dog food for our dogs. We are slaves. No new president will change that. The only thing that will change it is a worldwide catastrophe. And 
If everybody got to help every, every, if everybody has to help each other to survive and do away with the need of money, money creates greed. Without money, it wouldn't be no greedy people. Without money, it wouldn't be people selling dope. Without money, without the need to sell somebody something, to get money from somebody to survive, money is our master. Need is our bonds. Debt is our controller. And we're slaves. If you prove to me that we don't have to pay for everything in order to survive, what is that? What is that? When you go to the hospital and all these doctors are there to save lives, their whole oath is to save lives. But the administrators say you can't get your life saved because you can't afford it. A slave will pay for his health, a slave will pay to live. We are slaves and we pay to live. If we die, they're going to try to charge our family members for the time we had on this planet. We are slaves bound by debt, controlled by money, which does not exist. You're a fucking slave. White, black, Mexican, Asian, Chinese, shit, Arabic, we're slaves. Our life is built around a monetary system. And we have to have money in order to survive. Now, people say, oh, I do cocaine. And the other guy says, I do crack. The other guy says, I do methamphetamines. And the guy in the suit, he does it all because his addiction is money. His high is money. His control is money. His power is money. And he is black, white, whatever color. We are the slaves. We have to hustle and try to pay our bills. He got us paying our bill, his bills for him. He has us pay his bills. See what I'm saying? We are slaves to his money that we need so he can pay his bills. What is his bills? His bills are his master. And it's trickle down, baby. What that one rap, rap, rapper used to say? What do he say? Um... I put out a rap album and put your kids through college. I got a new Cadillac and your kids in college. My kids in grade school taught to be a fool. And I paid for your kids to go to college. So, why do we allow ourselves to be slaves? Because of the overwhelming need. We need what they have. That's the drug dealer's mentality right there. If you got a whole bunch of drugs, they will come give you their money for the drugs. If you got a whole bunch of power, they will try to give you the money for the power. In other words, everything that we have to pay for bounds us to our slavery. Everything that we have to go out and work to get something else that we really don't need bounds us to slavery. That brand new fucking... Uh, day glow hat with the light bulbs in it and shit that say cool nigga on it is a bond of slavery. This hat is the patch of slavery. I'm gonna break my neck to go pay for the cable to watch the game. Slavery. We're all slaves to some will or device that has something to do with some damn money. God provides everything for us at no charge. But we go to church and pay tithes. Reverend Feelgood got a brand new Cadillac. We got to catch the bus to church. But Grandma still want to put $5 in the bucket. We are slaves to religion, to, to need, to debt, to drugs, to money, to credit. We are slaves. And you've been told.